Okay, so last time we found the rate law for this reaction using a table of data that was collected from method of initial rates experiments. And we found that the rate law for this reaction was rate is equal to K. So this is the general rate law. The concentration of chlorine dioxide raised to the second power because we found out it was second order in chlorine dioxide. And we also found out that it was first order in hydroxide. So now we want to find the value for the rate constant K. So we want the value with units. And the way that we're going to do this is use any one of the first four experiments. Any of those experiments has a complete data set. We can use any one of those and plug in the values. So we can plug in the concentrations for the reactants and we can plug in this rate for any one of these experiments and then we can just solve for the rate constant K. So I'm going to choose experiment 3 for no particular reason. We could have chosen experiment 1, 2, 3, or 4. We would get the same value for the rate constant. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug everything in for in, into the rate law for experiment 3. So if we do that, then we're going to end up with 1.04 molar per second. So remember the units, because the units are going to be important when we want to get them for the rate constant. And that's going to be equal to K, which we don't know yet. Let's plug in the concentration of chlorine dioxide for that experiment. It was 0.01 molar. And then let's plug in the concentration for hydroxide, which is 0.04 molar. Okay. All right. Now, also, don't forget that these are molarities. So in the next step, I'm actually going to put those in so that we don't forget them when we want to write our rate constant with units. So for the next step, let's go ahead and divide both sides by these concentrations. Okay, and I'm going to rewrite it down here. So we will have 1.04 molar per second, and that's going to be divided by 0.01 molar, and that whole thing squared, and then 0.04 molar to the first power. And that is equal to K. Now let's go ahead and cancel out a few of these units. So we have molarity in the numerator, molarity in the denominator, so we can cancel out those two guys. That does leave us with seconds in the denominator and also molar squared in the denominator. Okay, so let's run everything through the calculator. And when we do that, we are going to end up with 1.04, 1 over seconds. That's going to be divided by 4 times 10 to the negative 6 molar squared. And that's equal to K. And when we run that through, then we're going to end up with 2.6 times 10 to the fifth. And the units on that are going to be molar to the minus 2 seconds to the minus 1. So let me just rewrite that right here. Molar to the minus 2 seconds to the minus 1. Now you could also write your you could also write your units as 1 over molar squared seconds. So either one is fine. And those are the units for the rate constant for a third order reaction overall.